How's it everyone? My name is Black Circle and we're back to another um big announcement for Jurassic World Division 2. Uh big news. So we just go straight to jump on the forum here. Alright, so welcome park managers to our biggest DLC yet. Introducing the Jurassic World Division 2 Dominion Pirates and Expansion coming 14 of June for those and this will be the um, YouTube the trailer right already seen that All right the rise of virus in fairly is yours to discover in an original campaign where where you immerse yourself in new and exciting gameplay mechanics and marvel in our at hit her to unseen dinosaurs and crystal reptiles Let's dive right in and check out what you will get in our next DLC. All new prehistoric species. Some truly incredible feathered dinosaurs are appearing in Jurassic World Division 2 for the first time ever. You will learn more about this in the coming days, but for now we'll give you all a brief introduction. Pyroraptor. Right. Recognize these gorgeous plumage park managers. This week, you know, your dino was none other than Pyroraptor, distant cousin to the Velociraptor and Dinonychus. This intelligent fire chief is sure to put your park manager, uh, park management skills to the test and will be the talk of your guests. Alright, so this is the image of uh, the Pyroraptor. You see uh, how gorgeous the Feathers here looks very detailed. How amazing this! Wow. Right. So what else you can see here? Or oh, there's a building back there that was on Jurassic World Dominion trailer where uh, the legends and the trio were uh, inside that. I don't know what that building is. Uh, I think it's uh, some kind of from Biosyn buildings. I'm uh, not sure what that's building yet, but I will figure out that building. All right, let's continue on Pterygenosaurus. Pterygenosaurus is a fierce territorial foliage grazer sporting feathers across its imposing stature. With its elongated forearm and curved claws, this ancient dinosaur whose name means as leather has an intimidating appearance. Usually its claw would be used to pull vegetation to it rather than to bite. However, it won't hesitate to defend its territory. So Cherizinosaurus, I think Cherizinosaurus, uh, you can place it just one on your uh, enclosure. You can only have a single Cherizinosaurus on your enclosure, I think. But I don't know if you can put it more than um, more than one or more than two, or I don't know if you can have uh, another dinosaur that can uh, share with the uh, pterodinosaurs in single uh, enclosure. But yeah, but that would be amazing, right? All right. So this is the image of pterodinosaurs. Look at how long the claw is. I thought I thought it had uh, feathers like the Pyroraptor on its arm here, but it's not. Also the tail. Okay, that's that's really amazing. I love the coat, uh, feathers on its back, across from the head to the tail. It's really amazing. It's pretty detailed though. Uh, I love the feathers here. It's so cool. All right, next is Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon is the oldest prehistoric species we've added to Jurassic World Evolution 2, becoming extinct several million years before dinosaurs first appeared on Earth. This current form is characterized by the impressive neural spine cell on its back, likely used as heat regulation. Dimetrodon is a uh, Synapsid. So this is the first non-dinosaur uh, 
on Jurassic World Evolution 2. So, Dimetrodon is not dinosaurs, uh, another creature. They are already uh, extinct before uh, dinosaurs were separate on Earth. Just like this, this is the Dimetrodon. It looks pretty amazing, really cool. All of the, the style here and the details. And uh, I think what this uh, sprinkle here or spikes or I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's designed it more like reptile from this image. Um, based, this is image based on Jurassic World Dominion. Well, I suppose uh, the Metal John to be look like more like uh, mammals, I guess. It's more like mammals. Yeah. And then uh, Quetzalcoatlus. Last but certainly not least, is one of the largest flying animals of, of all time, Quetzalcoatlus. This towering pterosaur has a massive wingspan and will require several aviary tombs to, uh, in order to satisfy its territory and environmental needs. Its sheer size and long, sharp peak uh, makes it a dominating force in the air. Right, so this is the Quetz of Cutlass. Wow, looks how big uh, is it. Uh, I wonder how you place this on your aviary. Definitely you will need a uh, uh, more uh, huge aviary. You cannot place it on a single aviary. Uh, I don't think uh, this Quetzalcoatlus can fly uh, very comfortable on your single aviary. So you will need uh, more uh, than one aviary to place uh, one quetzalcoatlus yep you know it's, that's, that's so cool though it's had uh, it have uh, the feathers too it's pretty detail uh, it's close to an um, accurate design love it I love I love dinosaurs with feathers and then new dinosaur variant and skins with Jurassic World Evolution 2 dominant biosyn expansion we're also introducing uh, six new dinosaur skins and two brand new variants based on iconic dinosaur from Jurassic World Dominion. Make your uh, Giganotosaurus more flattening than ever with its new 2002 variant and experience the wonder of the new Dreadnoughtus 2002 variant. If you thought this sauropod was big before, it's even bigger now. We're rolling out two new skins for T-Rex, uh, Scarlet 2002 version, as well as a uh, Fetter version, which is perfect if you decided, uh, if you decide to match it up against the new Gigantosaurus Source variant modeled after its appearance in Jurassic World Dominion. Finally, we're adding a new 2002 skins for Dilophosaurus and three film best skins for Parasolopus that we know you are absolutely love. Alright, so we'll have uh, more new dinosaur variant and skin. Uh, we have uh, uh, for Giganotosaurus and um, Tyrannosaurus Rex and Dreadnoughtus and Dilophosaurus and three film basic skin for Parasolopus. Yeah, it looks more different on the trilogy. And we have uh, the Jurassic World Dominion variants and skins. That's cool. So previously, Giganotosaurus on the basic Jurassic World uh, evolution to design. Yeah, pretty much more like on the first game, but by this uh, new variant, you can have this new skin variant like this. It's like from Dominion, so we can have this with the uh, neural spikes here, and I think these are crocodilian um, skins on its spikes. Pretty amazing, pretty lovely. I love this. 
what are gorgeous there look there uh the building again i, I think that's from the biosyn um dlc i'm not sure what that purpose is but i will figure out what that building uh for and then there's the t-rex i think this uh okay you can see the detail here it has the scar you can see the scar there it's pretty cool it's awesome and it says uh you can also have the fetter t-rex so if you want to recreate the the prologue and you can have uh t-rex fighting with giganotosaurus with the new variant skins for this too that's cool right and next new campaign jump into a new completely new uh and immersive campaign and discover the rise of biosyn valley you'll be taking control of biosyn valley research compound soon to be seen in universal picture and ambient interest with dominion constructing it to multiple states as you play you'll, you'll also be working alongside familiar and iconic characters from across the franchise including claire daring voiced by bryce dallas howard dr alan grant voiced by sam Neill, dr ellie settler voiced by laura dern and louis Dawson voiced by Campbell Scott. All right, so this is great. This is so great. This game is getting much better. All right, so we will hear uh, more character that also voiced by the original uh, actors, uh, Claire Pearing by Bryce Dallas Howard and Dr. Alan Grant voiced by same name himself. And uh, Dr. Ellie Sattler, voiced by Laura Dern. Also, Louis, I mean, Louis Dobson, voiced by Condon Scott. Well, that's very uh, immersive from Jurassic World Dominion. It's pretty cool. I love this game so much. Much like Ingen, um, Biosyn also extracts dinosaur DNA from Ember. You'll be sending scientists deep into the earth beneath the valley to extract amber in case of DNA and build up new dinosaur genomes. As the valley research compound expands, you'll get to use all new gameplay features introduced in this DLC. An underground hyperloop transportation network will move people back and forth while your dinosaur are safely kept behind invisible fences. New buildings, vehicles, and decorations will also be available to use in sandbox mode. New Biosyn Valley map is also playable in sandbox mode with both normal and flattened terrain options. The normal terrain option will be kept uh, the research compound as a visual part of the map, whereas flattened terrain will remove it. Alright, so this is the Biosyn, um, what's this for Biosyn Valley map? Yeah, this, this is uh, the research compound. You see, wow, that's pretty detailed. Yeah, it's exactly the same like we saw on the trailer, but we haven't seen the movie yet. Well, it will be coming on June 10th, and four days later, the game in this DLC will out right so cool so uh so this uh compound this research compound is used to use uh to extract dinosaur dna from ember but we will play like uh, we'll play as biosyn so we'll be sending uh the scientists uh into this compound to extract ember and get DNA and build up a uh, new dinosaur genome and then we will get the uh, the new dinosaurs that was on DLC and we will unlock it uh, and uh, wait 
maybe not the dance hall. I think it's from uh, I think it's just the game black because all including the dance hall. Uh, maybe the dance halls are locked and need to open from this um, new campaign. And then uh, underground hyperloop transportation network will move people back. On. Wow, hyperloop as transportation. Well, okay, that's new. And then uh, dinosaurs are safely kept behind invisible friends. We have uh, invisible friends. That's cool, though. That's pretty cool. New buildings, vehicles, decoration. All right, so we'll have more new buildings, vehicles, and decoration. Maybe not All right, so let's see, the, see this uh, new character level. In addition to the new campaign, the Jurassic World Evolution 2 Dominant Pirates and Expansion also adds a brand new chaos theory level to the game where you work to protect dinosaurs at a uh, snowy Sierra Nevada range in a level inspired by the event of Jurassic World Dominion. Okay, so that's uh, when Owen are uh, chasing the parcel with the horses and snowy area, probably that one. Uh, all right, so the, the new dinosaur wrangling mechanic can be used to coral hurt uh, hurts of dinosaurs quickly. You have the need for tranquilization or a transport team. As your ranch uh, grows larger, dinosaurs roster will break in to, to scale the dinosaurs you are trying to care for. You will have to build out your security measure to detect intruder and perimeter features and intercept their vehicles before they can make way with your dancer. All right, so there will be a uh, intruder and they can steal your uh, dinosaur that you already kept them safe in your safe enclosure. Um, it's cool. All right, and uh, the new dinosaur wrangling mechanic. So we can uh, master it. So the idea of this, uh, it's already on J Pop Jurassic Park Operation Genesis when you use helicopter to master the dinosaurs. So you don't have to tranquilize them if you would like to move the dinosaurs. Uh, pretty much like that, but. Again, the, the original idea of this, I think it's from the uh, J-Pop Jurassic World Operation Genesis that you use the helicopter to master uh, your dinosaur. And then up the tree, there is plenty to sing your teeth, claws, and talents into the Jurassic World Division 2 Dominion Bios and Expansions. Alongside this, the LC were also releasing update 3, a free update for everyone who owns Jurassic World Division 2. This update will include several new features and mechanics, as well as box fixes and quality of life changes. Alright, let's go. Cool. So, um, update 3 is a free update for everyone, but the LC is not free. You have to buy it. And then, um, all right, let's see uh, what's new on update 3 because there are uh, several new features and mechanics too. And uh, Chaos Theory maps in challenge mode. The test of Chaos Theory is coming to challenge mode with a set of new maps. These are all inspired by the five different Chaos Theory scenarios found in the base game and will put your park management skills to the test. To read more about this, all right. Okay, so this is a uh, new chaos theory maps in challenge mode. All right, so we are have a uh, chaos theory maps in challenge mode. So if you are playing uh, Jurassic Park. And then Jurassic Park San Diego is also on side B, and then Jurassic World and Return to Isan Mubar, uh, that was on Chaos Theory, and then you can play it on Challenge Mode. That's not a new thing. And then Dinosaur Wrangling. 
Answer rhyming is a core part of the new character level, but it will also be available to use in other modes. This way, this is a way for you to move dinosaurs around without needing to tranquilize them and uh, call in a transport helicopter. Wrangling dinosaurs is done in a ranger vehicle and will let you move herds of dinosaurs from point A to B. Alright, this is what I am meaning of what I am meant for. The idea is uh, like, just like if you have play uh, jpox before uh, you will know it uh, but on jpox you need a helicopter to uh, wrangling the dinosaur but uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 you can use the ranger vehicle to uh, wrangling the dinosaurs to move the dinosaur from point A to point B that's very interesting you don't have to tranquilize them uh, then um, you know you must order you wrangling them in a a big group of dinosaurs. You know, it's that. Uh, for example, uh, you have dinosaurs in point A, and you like to move them to point B. Uh, instead, you uh, tranquilize them with a ranger vehicle. Uh, you can. Now you can wrangling them from point A to point B. That's pretty simple and faster. And then part tour changes. Your part tours will also get a few updates with update 3. We are very happy to announce that part tours will now function as transport, letting you connect separated area of the park and improve your transport rating with a single connected tour. You'll also be able to increase the number of vehicles based on terrain and even adjust the distance between them. Finally, we're adding tour binoculars for all vehicles, further uh, increasing the viewing radius of all tours. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, we're also adding in a new DFW tour, so all areas will have access. To a tour in sandbox mode. All right. So wow. So the park tour now expanded. It's getting more better. We can have uh, the tour uh, viewing radius more expand. Uh, the guests can see more uh, dinosaurs from the tours more far. That's amazing. Let's go and the park tours also can be used as uh, transport. So if you have uh, uh, separate areas of the parks, um, you know the map is very huge, right? For example, if, if you have a park in the north and then in the middle there was uh, there is a dinosaur enclosure and you have another park in the south and then if you want to connect it you can use uh, the park tours and you can use it for uh, gas transportation that's not a new thing transport changes uh, while dinosaur wrangling will let you move multiple dinosaurs at once while online we're also adding a way to move multiple dinosaurs using transport helicopters with update 3 your dinosaurs will be grouped per species and you'll be able to see the order in which they'll be moved by your transport team mm -hmm. all right all right so you can uh use the helicopter too uh instead you have the ranger vehicle you can use the transport helicopter i don't know which is uh most faster uh, i think if you use helicopter i guess that would be more faster rather than you use a ranger uh, vehicle but um i think it's more fun if you use a ranger vehicle i don't know <laughs> that's my opinion um you know that's yes yeah, that's interesting 
all right next is a uh, quality of life changes last but certainly not least let's talk a bit about the quality of life changes we're rolling out with uh up to three we're adding in new contracts as well as changing up some of the contracts already in the game you may also encounter contracts that carry great rates but also bigger rewards uh, these deals could go wrong so be careful when accepting them well all right so it could be a tricky right so the contracts uh, could be tricky if you take a uh, risky but the rewards also would be uh, pretty low and you definitely don't want to have it so yeah you need to be careful again when you have to choose uh contracts if you are an ardent sandbox mode builder you'll be happy to know we'll be removing building limits on operation buildings in sandbox a mode across all platforms this will allow you to build multiples of buildings you could previously only have one of in your parks okay now we can have a more building that was uh, only one you can have in your park and you can have more than one you will now be able to place the multiple control centers uh, visitor centers, arrival points, research centers, and more. You will also be able to full turn off port status checks and dinosaurs in use in sandbox mode. Wow, alright, so there's a part when this game uh, increased their difficulty but also low for something especially in sandbox mode. That's cool. Uh, there will be more quality of life changes as well as bug fixes okay so this is the new this is the big announcement this is the big uh, update and dlc so this will be interesting and all of it will be coming on uh june 14 yes and yeah how do you think about that uh, are you excited for it but i'm still thinking uh there's still more dinosaurs on Jurassic World dominion uh it's like uh, iguanodon and then of the raptor moros uh what else um Atros raptor but it didn't show on this um uh, maybe uh another update maybe on next week or next day uh hopefully they will be added on this game but if not that still uh, makes sense though because on previous uh dlc that's on camp cretaceous uh smilodon is not on dlc so probably uh, we don't have all dinosaurs from the minion but i guess that uh that's fine in my opinion i would fine with it um but if uh the developer could add them all of them from dominion that will be insanely great um you know <laughs> but the dlc more getting uh, bigger right i don't know if uh those dlc will be separated as the like uh a Raptor will be uh, added in another DLC or else. Don't know for that. Well, um, yeah, but it's still interesting. It's still great. I would like to have this DLC and can wait for it. All right, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you have something in your mind you like to ask about, you can tell me. You can ask it uh in the comment below and let me read it and probably i i could answer that and what do you think about this uh upcoming dlc and expansion and everything here 
let me know that in the comment below and yeah if you like this video please just give video a like and subscribe for more content of uh, Jurassic World Conclusion 2 and I'll see you next time. Hopefully this is